Fairy Trick bag, one by Suburban Stitcher. And it's all black and red fabric. So awesome. Ah, oh, here comes Smudge. Oh, he's disappeared. That's good. He keeps hearing the rustling of the bag. <laughs> So awesome. I will open it properly in just a little while, but yeah, the rustling of the bag brings smudge and I'm trying to distract him with other things. <laughs> in the interim, today's tea is the Post Festival Cleanse Me. Um, as I said yesterday, we're um, repeating the teas now. Um, I think this is the one that's got garlic in it, or maybe not. No, this is the one with Garcinia, the thing I still haven't looked up, so I must remember to do that. So no, one of them has garlic in it and at first it was okay, but then it was a bit weird. But that's not this one, so it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, so exciting. Smudge is distracted so I could open the plastic and look at the bag. It's just beautiful. Oh, just all my colours. And I'll show you the inside. That great fabric, the black and white. Very sort of the band white stripes very much their colors as well which you know very much my colors <laughs> so that is beautiful always love a new red and black project bag and speaking of red and black projects or in this case red and gray i'll show you where i'm up to with my sock head hat or you know that's probably going to be the full pattern that i use but i might do different decreases my hat that i am knitting <laughs> so this is using Knit Picks Felici in the Firefighter colorway. And as you can see, that's all I've got left. Um, a couple more repeats. This colorway is really fun because there's different widths of that dark gray. Sometimes it's the full repeat, the same as the red and the light gray, but sometimes it's thinner stripes alternating. So that's very good fun. Um, my point being, um, it's hard to see. I mean, it's not hard to see. I just have to follow the pattern, but yes. It's not three thick stripes of colour. There's a mixture in there. Um, as in, that's what's left. <laughs> I'll get there. I haven't had coffee yet. Um, so I've been knitting this pretty much, well, no, definitely exclusively this week. Um, there is a project marker, sorry, progress keeper here. I have no idea when I put that in though or why. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I don't know, it's marking progress, but what that progress is, we don't know. We can just go with its progress and it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> but yes, as I said, exclusively this week, um, I've been driving to work every day this week, so I haven't had commute knitting time. Um, but um, I mentioned in a previous video that Yanda Teen is doing a training course this week. So where I pick her up from... Um, I get a bit of knitting time while I'm waiting there. Um, and then also last night when I went to the workshop with Inspired Little Pot, I was knitting all throughout, as I mentioned. And yeah, it's going really well. So I have this additional ball here because I'm just going to keep knitting on it. But if I'm out and about when I run out of yarn, I'll just add on more and make it a bit longer. I probably won't make it too much longer. It's really to have that more as just something um, to knit on in case I run out of yarn, because that's the worst thing ever. If you're a knitter, you know. Um, so yeah, it will just keep going for a little bit longer. But then yeah, if I do join the additional ball, um, as soon as I get home again, I'll probably cast off soon after that. Because um, yeah, the intention is just to sort of have an approximate one ball hat but if it's longer that's fine too so here's to it being Friday Friday the 14th and um, I'm really looking forward to the weekend I do have a bit to do but that's okay um, I actually have a long weekend because I've taken um, a day of annual leave on Monday just because I do have a lot to do um, in the lead up to Christmas in terms of getting the house ready because um, we host Christmas lunch and 
Yeah, because I've had additional fatigue and just been out of the house a lot. Um, it's getting pretty untidy, so I've got a lot of stuff to put away where it goes and all that exciting, thrilling stuff. So the, re the weekend has an additional tidying day, which is good. I'm very grateful that I was able to take a day of leave to do that. And I'm just first looking forward to having a bit of a sleep in tomorrow, if possible. Ah, it'd be nice. Okay, gonna finish coffee and then head off to work.